forget Samsung, Apple, Nokia, and Blackberry. Now there's a uniquely South African brand of cell phone, homegrown and produced right here by a company called Dream Mobile. Running on Android and soon available for a fraction of the price of current Android phones, Seth meets up with the creators. An awful lot gets said about the future of the internet. An awful lot gets said about the future of the internet being mobile. An awful lot gets said about how we'll use our handsets to link to the internet of things around us, manipulating our environments to our benefit as we go in a harmonious symphony of internet, phone, environment, and human. But that kind of future assumes internet all around us, either through Wi-Fi or cheap data. And that's the kicker. No one's really tackling the high cost of data and the expense of smartphone handsets, which are the biggest barriers to the emergence of this future on the smartphone front here for us in Africa. No one except for two young Cape Town entrepreneurs who solved the problem by taking a direct route. They built their own phone handsets, obviously. Introducing Dream Mobile, founders Roy Barola and Reza Handley Namavar actually built a smartphone and then they built native data compression and data managed software protocol to live on the phone and squeeze every ounce of data precious data out of it. So how does this data compression and management system work? Yeah, what we realize is that most apps don't do a very good job compressing, compressing data on the smartphones. So what we created was a subscription service where a, a user activates it on their phone and it allows us to compress all the data that go gets downloaded to their phone, meaning users can save 30 to 60% on their data costs. Sounds cute, but you obviously can't get the regular smartphone suite of apps on this thing, right? So wrong, they saying Nelly. Instagram, Temple Run, WhatsApp, Facebook, booyah. If it's on Android version 3, it's on a Dream Mobile. And then there's something that Roy and Reza have called a Dream Portal, unique to their handsets. What's a Dream Portal and why should I care about it? So Dream Portal in a nutshell effectively is a content hub where a user can get access to the best, in local, the best of local music, applications, video, and do a number of other things as well, which include value-added services like paying for airtime, uh, paying for electricity, paying your water bills, and paying a number of other bills. Effectively, what it allows for you to do is get the best in local international content with a friendly payment service, which is locally curated to your region specifically. Very nice indeed, young ones. But at the end of the day, my wallet's going to do the talking. So how much can we expect to pay for one of these bad boys once they hit the market? Roy and Reza have advised that Dream Mobile will be releasing a range of devices across the price spectrum, with the entry-level smartphone topping 599 Rand, which competes strongly with cheap feature phones. Of course, apart from the fact that South Africa can be incredibly proud that a handful of nondescript 20-somethings with fine arts degrees have managed to start up a bona fide local smartphone company, the emergence of Dream Mobile is incredibly good news for every ambitious local entrepreneur. The business and computing power of smartphones has the potential to radically accelerate the economic development of Africa. And if someone's getting them into people's hands for less, then there's hope yet. Watch this continent.